Monica, Elaine Chow has just announced that she has resigned the transportation secretary. She's tweeted her statement. I just want to read the first little part of it. Yesterday, our country experienced a traumatic and entirely avoidable event as supporters of the president stormed the Capitol building following a rally he addressed. As I'm sure is the case with many of you, it has deeply troubled me in a way that I simply cannot set aside. Here's the question. Why resign? Why not get behind the 25th Amendment? So this is notable for a couple of reasons, Katie, and we should point out NBC News was first to report this last night. The fact that Secretary Elaine Chao, who's, of course, married to current Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, though, of course, he will not have that title soon, and that she was considering her options. This is the first cabinet level secretary to make this decision. And what we also know is happening in parallel are these discussions at a staff level about potentially presenting the argument to invoke the 25th Amendment to the vice president, though we should point out that hasn't happened yet. As far as we are concerned or what we've learned, we're continuing to track that by reaching out actually to all of these agencies. But this is an important development because Secretary Chow is the first person who also has been with the president since the beginning of his administration in this role to say that she was so deeply uncomfortable with what she saw in terms of the violence and chaos on Capitol Hill yesterday that you're right, she's willing to forego the opportunity to potentially take more action in these final two weeks. So we're continuing to report out what else may have contributed to it. Something else we're tracking is this idea that if she's the first one to do this, could she potentially be breaking open the dam for other agency heads to come forward and do the same? But to your excellent question about such a narrow amount of time, what kind of a signal does it send? Secretary Chow may be somebody in a more specific and unique situation, given, of course, her relationship with Mitch McConnell, who we saw in the most forceful of ways compared to the last four years, really come out against the president and really reject all of his continued baseless claims of voter fraud, Katie. So this is just one example. Of course, we've seen other resignations from White House staffers, the deputy national security advisor, Matt Pottinger, also submitting his resignation letter. And we're told by officials there are likely more to come in the next 24 hours, Katie. Monica, thank you. Hello, YouTubers. If you're watching this, it means you've checked out our channel. So thank you. Now do me a favor. Subscribe by clicking on that button down there. Click on any of the videos to watch the latest interviews and highlights from MTP Daily and MSNBC. You can get more Beat the Press content every morning in the First Read newsletter. If you're tired of content that you don't know anything about where it came from, you don't have to have that problem with us. NBC News, MSNBC, MTP, and the Meet the Press mindset right here for you on YouTube. Subscribe now.